Today I'm going to show you how to add the TTM squeeze to your watch list column. Hello and welcome back. I'm Dr. Bo with Ready, Set, Grow. On this channel, my goal is to share tips to help you on your financial and trading journey. If you're new here, like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new content. Also check the description for some valuable resources. I have gotten a few requests asking me to show you how to add the TTM squeeze script to your watch list column. So that is what I'm going to do today. The first thing you need to do is have the script. Now I have the script already posted in my Discord server. We actually have a scripts channel. So we have the TOS scripts channel. You copy and paste your script. And in this channel, we just share tons of scripts that we all find or whatever we like to use. And today I'm going to be using the watch list column script. So I'm going to copy and paste that into the ThinkScript editor in Thinkorswim. You add the watch list by clicking on this icon here where it is a plus sign and then you select watch list. I've already done that part and your watch list will appear here. In this section, you add several symbols. You can do, um, you can add symbols by pressing enter and selecting um, a ticker symbol or typing it in here. Go to the gear icon and select customize. These are the things you can add in your columns. Usually you would find a column called custom. I don't have a column called custom because I've already used all of mine by adding several scripts. So these used to say custom. You could just type in custom and you should have it if you haven't filled all of yours out. Once you select custom, you select this little paper icon and this will bring up your ThinkScript editor. In your ThinkScript editor, that is where you copy and paste the script. Once you have copied and pasted the script, select the time frame that you want to use it on. I have selected multiple time frames, which is why I don't have any custom columns left because I've used them all. So I would repeat this process so that I have a TTM column for daily, one for the four hour, one for the two hour, one for the one hour, and as many time frames as you would like. So you copy and paste the script here, you press OK, and then you start adding them over to this column by selecting add item. So I'm going to add the one hour, I'm going to add the two hour, I'm going to add the four hour. Once I've added them, I select OK. And what do you have here? You see that the watch list column is populated with the different colors associated with the script. This gives me an easy way to identify what stocks are in a squeeze what stocks have fired, what direction they fired. It makes it much easier for me to identify tickers to trade. You can find a similar script online or you can find one by looking at different YouTube videos. This particular script, I actually added my own piece of coding and changed it around a bit. And if you would like this script, then you need to join my Discord server where it's posted in our scripts channel. If you're looking for an active trading community with an impeccable track record for high quality alerts, definitely check us out. That link again is in the description. Here are a few alerts we took this week. Just yesterday, I alerted NVIDIA and Chewy. NVIDIA we got in before we swung it. That was over a 30% gain. I ended up closing for $885. I also alerted Chewy yesterday. I saw on the watch list that Chewy was in a squeeze on multiple time frames and decided to take a long position. Closed Chewy for 37% and that was a $1,000 profit for me. And the members who took these trades made good money as well, depending on how many contracts they had. Another alert we had this week was Lyft. I pointed it out in chat that I was going to take a swing position on it. We ended up swinging Lyft, closed that for $245. I believe that was a 20% gain. And I also alerted Plug in chat this week for a quick scalp, closed that for $120. On my last Bolo video, I alerted Snap as our ticker to be on the lookout for. We actually picked this ticker up, closed Snap for 30%. That was a $450 gain with my five contracts. If anything helped you in this video, do me a favor and subscribe. It lets me know to keep giving you guys great content. See you all next time.